Uh, my name is Matt Malic. Uh, we're uh, in the village, Olympic Village, uh, Beijing 2008. We got me uh, and uh, Amin. Yeah, go Bears! Go Bears! Uh, we're going to give you a little tour uh, around the village. So, hold on. So this is the view from my balcony. It's, uh, as you can see, the space between the buildings is very nicely decorated. Not as nicely as uh, Berkeley campus, but uh, still nice. Alright, this is a uh, techno gym. And uh, everybody comes in. Uh, should sign this, so let's see. Uh, this is where the action happens. This is where athletes prepare. Uh, this is where they pop their iron. It's uh, it's a little bit chilly in here, but uh, I guess that's okay when you get warm up. It's uh, you got going. As you can hear behind, it's uh, they play techno. They play nothing but techno. All right. Thanks, Martin, for the great introduction to the first half of the fitness area. I'm going to take you over to the second half. As you can see over here, we've got world-class athletes lifting weights. It's pretty exciting. We're in a place that Martin and I have never been before. It's a weight room. <laughs> all right, so here we are in the dining facility at the Olympic Village. Um, they've got all kinds of food here. We've got, we've got you know, a little uh, cereal bar. We've got a little bread bar. On the other side, we've got uh, all kinds of fruit and salad. Um, this whole facility is probably about a quarter mile long, starting out with uh, Mediterranean food over here. We've got uh, international food over there, and next to that we've got Asian food, and we've got uh, both halal and uh, kosher foods. Uh, they've also got, um, we've got a McDonald's down at the end, free McDonald's. I can go down there right now and order 10 Big Macs if I want. I'm not going to do that because I'm already pretty big, but I saw a little wrestler. He probably weighed about you know, 120, 150 pounds, like this tall. Ordered eight Big Macs and ate every single one of them. Eight Big Macs, eight fries, ate all of it. It was amazing. Comparison, uh, I think food here is, uh, is, all, is almost as good as uh, food in Park Burke. It's uh, It tastes more, tastes more uh, Chinese than it does in uh, Berkeley. Right, here we are in the hair salon slash uh, beauty salon in the Olympic Village. As you can see, we've got people getting manicures, people getting haircuts. Um, you know, if we had more time, I'd, I'd sit down and get a manicure right now, but unfortunately, we, we have a limited amount of time. You think, uh, you mean your second one, right? Yeah, second one of the day. <laughs> I get one, I get two every day here. And this is a thin training uh, area. As you can see, people here uh, come from all, the, all around the world just to uh, trade pins with you. They want you to trade pins with them. Here we are at the Olympic Club. Uh, you know, because it's like 6 o'clock in the afternoon, there aren't very many people here. But as you can see, we've got a live band. Their name is One Band, One Singer. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got, you know, all, all kinds of things in here from, from three. We've got three refrigerators just stacked with non-alcoholic beverages. Um, it's unclear what's behind the bar besides milk and juice, but they might have other stuff. Over here, if you get really hot and bothered, you can get some ice cream. And uh, one, one, one Band, One Singer over here. Sounds That's like it. they're going to be ta playing Taking Care of Business pretty soon, so I'm kind of excited. And uh, this is where I bring my laundry at. Uh, they have two types of bag. One is uh, blue, one is uh, pink. Uh, I don't know which one is which. It's so, like dark clothes and uh, white clothes. And they're pretty good. They wash it in one day. Uh, if it's very dirty, they uh, give it back to you. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's very good. It's very good. I'm just kidding. That part, yeah. and, uh, they're, they're very helpful. Hi. 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 Now we're in front of my crib. And, uh, this is one of my rooms. Uh, so let's check it out. Dude, someone broke in my house. What the hell? I swear it was clean when I, when I left it. What? Oh, anyway, okay, let's, let's deal with this later. I'm gonna call, call Kufu Panda Police up here. Okay, so this is the living room. We decorated uh, differently. And I, I can't believe this happened. <laughs> so these are our balls. Uh, I put in, uh, uh, this is for handball, actually. Croatia has a very good team in the handball. Uh, hopefully, they're gonna win the gold medal. But uh, let me take you to my million dollar crib. So this is this is the bathroom. Uh, very small, but uh, I guess uh, you don't need much more than that. You got a toilet, you got a shower, you got a mirror to look at yourself in the morning and say how beautiful you are every morning. That's very important. I do it all the time. It uh, boosts my confidence, especially in a, you know, when I get a couple 
pounds on. But actually, these uh, apartments, I'm not kidding now, uh, they're already sold out in the whole village. And they were to, from a uh, million dollars to two million dollars, 500,000 euros to a million euros. So it's, uh, it's very expensive. All right, so this is my room. I shared the room with uh, Esan Hadadi. He's a uh, number three discus thrower in the world. Unfortunately, he didn't do very well this week, so he's, uh, he's kind of upset. So let's go. This is my crib. It's kind of messy in here. This is my bed. This is Esan's bed. It's our balcony over here. So this is my uh, this is my my balcony over there. That's Martin's crib. Martin's crib is over there. All the Croatians stay in his crib. So this is my bed. This is where I get all my rest. And uh, it's my little friend that I uh, I hold at night when I'm sleeping. Oh. You know, just me and my me and my little friend. <laughs> That was it. That was uh, our tour to the village. Hope you had fun. Me and me had a lot of fun. Uh, hope we kind of give you a little taste how it is to live in the village. Uh, it's it's very nice. It's very people are very friendly. It's a relaxed uh, area to be. Uh, although it's Olympic Games, uh, people try to relax. And uh, so this that was it. That was uh, our village. It's not like an ordinary village. It has internet, it has water, it has a very electricity. <laughs> There's no cows and no, no fields, but uh, that's our village. And that's a bye for me. Go Bears and uh, me. Yeah, thanks again for coming on uh, the virtual tour with Martin and I. We enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed it also. Um, yeah, Olympics is a great experience. You know, hopefully uh, all you young athletes will be able to be here someday. Stay in school, practice hard. Don't do drugs, go bears. <laughs>